in question two of this exercise we have these four parts that you see here in each part a ratio is specified and we have to convert each part of that ratio to a percentage and what this means is that we have to specify each part of the ratio as a percentage of the whole so let's start with the first part part a in this part the ratio is 3 is to 1 okay so let's write this the ratio in this first part is 3 is to 1 so this means that the total of the parts in this ratio so the total of the parts in this ratio will be 3 plus 1 or 4 and now we can express each part of the ratio as a fraction of the whole and hence as a percentage of the whole so the first part of the ratio which is basically this corresponds to this number 3 so as a fraction of the whole we can write this as 3 by the total of parts or 3 by 4 so the first part is this fraction of the whole and now we can convert it to percentage so 3 by 4 into 100 this many percentage so this will be the um, this fraction expressed in percentage form now 100 by 4 is 25 and 3 into 25 is 75 so the first part is 75 uh, corresponds to 75 percentage of the whole similarly the to calculate the second part as a percentage we can either subtract this first part from 100 percent or we can uh, take this number corresponding to the second part which is 1 so we have 1 divided by the total of parts or 4 so the second part is this fraction of the whole and we can convert it to percentage by multiplying it by 100 so 1 by 4 into 100 this many percentage and 100 by 4 is 25 so we get 25 percent so in part a the first uh, in, in the first question the first part which which is this number 3 this corresponds to a percentage of 75 percent and the second part is corresponding to 25 percent so this is the answer for part a now we go to part b in which we have the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 so let's write the ratio first the ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5 so once again we calculate the total of the parts in this ratio so the total of the parts will be 2 plus 3 plus 5 which is equal to 10 so that's the total of parts now let's calculate each part as a, as a fraction of the whole and then as a percentage of the whole so the first part will be as a fraction of the whole it will be uh, it corresponds to this number 2 so it will be 2 by total of parts so this fraction now let's convert it to percentage so 2 by 10 into 100 percent so these many percent okay so 100 by 10 is 10 and 2 into 10 is 20 so we get 20 percent so this is the uh, first part as a percentage similarly the second part as a percentage will be that part which is 3 divided by the total of parts so 3 by 10 so this will be the fraction form and to convert it to percentage we will write 3 by 10 into 100 so this many percentage okay so once again 100 by 10 is 10 and 3 into 10 is 30 so the second part is 30 percentage of the whole and finally to calculate the third part we can do it in two ways we can add the first and the second part percentages 20 percent and 30 percent that's 50 percent and subtract it from 100 percent or we can follow what we did for the first two parts we can say that the third part as a fraction will will be that part 5 divided by the total of parts so 5 by 10 and as a percentage this will be 5 by 10 into 100 this many percentage okay so 100 by 10 is 10 and 5 into 10 is 50 so this will be 50 percent so this um, so the answer for the second question is the uh, the parts when expressed in percentage form are 20 percent 30 percent and 50 percent so this is the answer for part b okay next we can similarly do part c in which the ratio is 1 is to 4 
so the ratio is 1 is to 4 the total of parts in this case will be what will be the total of parts this will be 1 plus 4 or 5 so now the first part when expressed as a fraction of the whole will be 1 by 5 and as a percentage it will be 1 by 5 into 100 this many percent and if you calculate this 100 by 5 is 20 so the first part is 20 percent and the second part let me calculate it by subtracting the first part from 100 percent in this case so the first part is 20 percent so the second part will be 100 percent minus 20 percent or 80 percent so i've used this alternate way to calculate the second part but you could have done it in either uh, in using either method you could either have calculated the second part as a fraction of the whole or what i've done here which is subtract the first part from 100 percent okay so in the third part the in the third question the parts of the ratio even expressed in percentage form are 20 percent and 80 percent so this is the answer for part c and finally we come to part d in which the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 5 so the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 5 so the total of parts is in this case 1 plus 2 plus 5 or 8 so the total of parts is 8 so the first part when expressed as a fraction will be 1 by 8 so let's write all the parts as fractions the second part as a fraction will be 2 by 8 and the third part as a fraction will be what will be the third part as a fraction it will be 5 by 8 so the first part to ex convert it into percentage form we simply multiply the fraction by 100 so this percentage similarly with the second part and similarly with the third part so now let's calculate these percentages so 100 by 8 is 12.5 then 2 by 8 into 100 will be so 2 by 8 is 1 by 4 and 100 by 4 is 25 and 5 by 8 will be 100 by 8 is 12.5 and 5 into 12.5 is 62.5 so the percentages are 12.5 percent 25 percent and 62.5 percent okay so in part in the in the fourth question the fourth part the parts of the ratio when written in percentages percentage form are 12.5 percent 25 percent and 62.5 percent so this is the answer for part d and with this we have completed question number two to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.